Hi, I'm Zeke Marks and I'm the Quality Assurance Specialist on Hero Academy and I'm here to give you some advanced tactics to give you an edge against your friends and your opponents. As you can see here, I am the council up against the Dark Elves and if you look at my units and items, I've started with two knights and a wizard. Generally, you want to have your higher hit points such as the knight out on the front lines so they can absorb the most damage from your enemies. Then you want to have your high attack, low hit point units behind them to back them up. I'm also going to move my knight on this assault tile so I can do more damage to the crystals. My opponent has a necromancer on an assault tile. Assault tiles are important in Hero Academy because when you control them, your units do more damage to enemy crystals. The council's knight has the ability to knock units off of squares, so here I'm going to knock this guy off and take the assault tile. Now my units will do more damage to enemy crystals. I have placed my cleric behind my knight so that my opponent cannot knock me off of the assault tile. Now I can simply heal my knight and then continue my attack on his crystals. If you look down at my units and items, you'll see that I don't have any active units to deploy. So I'm going to use our swapping feature by dragging an item, throwing it in the door, and I can do this for up to five each turn. So I'm going to put all of them in there, then I'm going to submit my turn. I should receive some new units. And now I got a ninja. In this turn, I'm going to try and take out this Void Monk. So I'm going to put an attack upgrade on my Necromancer. I'm going to move him in range. I'll attack. Attack him again. And hit him one more time. Oh, I didn't kill him. That's no problem because another cool feature we have is the undo button. So I'm just going to tap the undo button and try my move again. This time I'm going to put the sword on him again, but I'm also going to use a triple attack power scroll. I'll hit him with that big attack, and hit him one more time, and take him out. The Dark Elf spell Soul Harvest not only damages enemies, but it drains their health and gives it to your own, reviving any knocked out units you have, allowing them to come back into action. Keeping fully upgraded units alive is very important in Hero Academy. I'm going to take my archer who's about to die and retreat her to my clear to heal her up ready to fight next turn. So my opponent has a fully powered up impaler with a scroll attack so it would be in my best interest to take them out so that they cannot attack me with it. Now after you knock a unit out best to stomp them so they can't resurrect and kill you. As you can see here, my opponent has a fully upgraded archer, so that's going to be my number one target. I'm going to go ahead and attack them with my ninja here. Now my ninja is my super unit, so I want to keep him safe, so I'm going to teleport him out for my knight, who is much less valuable. The Dark Elf super unit, the Wraith, starts out as an average unit. But as he kills enemy units and drains their life, he gets stronger and stronger as the game progresses. Combining assault tiles with power boost tiles at the same time can give your units a huge advantage. For example, if I attack my, with my ninja, I will do 600 damage a hit. However, if I toss my knight to the assault tile and teleport my ninja onto the power boost, he will do 1200 damage a hit. Here's a sneak peek at the next team to enter the Hero Academy, coming soon.